after missing the playoffs, they look for a new head man. And they hire 48-year-old former NBA player Darvin Ham. He won a title with the Pistons in 2004, came from the Bucks, an assistant under Mike Budenholzer uh, when they won the title, also a former assistant for the Lakers back in the day in 2011 to 13. And look at the king. He is so damn excited, he said on Twitter. <laughs> Congrats and welcome, Coach D. Ham. Hashtag Lake Show. We got the purple heart. We got the yellow heart. It is all love right now. So, Monica, is Ham the right guy to lead the Lakers? Um, by all accounts, Hannah, it seems like he is. And I texted with a buddy with the Bucks organization just to get a little insight. And he pointed to a game earlier this season where Ham was in as the interim head coach when Coach Bud was out and talked about how the guys really played for him. And that was a game against Brooklyn. And he said he's a guy that's going to set the tone when he gets into the locker room. Um, the guys are going to want to play for him. He's a big culture guy from that Bud Budenholzer, excuse me, coaching tree. Now, I will say this, though. Um, I love a tweet from LeBron James, but I really hope he uses his powers for good and not evil because we know if LeBron <laughs> James decides he's disgruntled, that's going to put a, uh, some pressure on Coach Ham. But this is, looks good to me. I love this trend in terms of former coaches, black head coaches, um, getting opportunities in the league after doing their due diligence as assistants. Yeah, what do you think about that, Amari? I mean, you've been a coach, a, a player, and listen, this guy has a lot of credibility coming into this position. Yeah, he does. I, I remember playing against Coach Ham when he was when he was with the Pistons and he's always been a solid player as a player and then taking his due diligence as a coach and learning um, all those years as an assistant coach and now being able to have his own opportunity to coach uh, with the Lakers I do think that it's a great pickup for the Lakers and I feel like with him and LeBron having a conversation about how to establish a system for them moving forward and then being firm with that system so the rest of the guys can somewhat buy into it and I think if, if everyone collectively somewhat joined that system uh, uh, um, they will be able to have a good, a good season next year, hopefully. On the, I mean, look at what's happening game. with Boston right now with Udoka, mm -hmm. right, and the success that they're having. What is going to make this work, though? What does LeBron and company need to do to make this a successful move? Yeah, as Amari said, the most important piece is LeBron and company. Like you said, it's the synergy of LeBron and the coach. Like, obviously, a guy that, that – he wants, you know, that he would like. I'm sure there were other coaches on a list that he would prefer to have, but Darvin Ham certainly is a guy that he approves and will work with. So that starts there. But the most important thing, if this is going to work, is Darvin Ham has to reach Anthony Davis. He has to get to Anthony Davis and get Anthony Davis back to a level where he was at one point on ESPN's power rankings, the second best player in the NBA. Mm -hmm. Like, we believe this. And since then, I don't want to say he's gone a bit Hollywood, but he is not the same guy intensity-wise, physicality-wise, and Amari, I dare say conditioning-wise. I think yep. if there's a guy this offseason that needs to get in the gym and get himself back to the player he was when he was just known as the brow and nothing else, that's what has to happen. And maybe Darvin Ham can get through to him because if he is, that could unlock everything for the so I see you nodding. Yeah, yeah, he's absolutely right because if, 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 if Anthony Davis can get himself in top shape, and get physically strong and healthy, then he can provide that second, that second player, tiered player for LeBron James, for the Lakers. You know what I'm saying? So if he's able to really get himself in some serious shape and be available and focus on basketball. Okay, LA sometimes take you outside of basketball, yeah. Hollywood, the glamour yeah. and glitz, celebrities and all this, this lifestyle. But if you can lock in on basketball and really focus in on that, then he'll be that key piece that the Lakers need to move forward. And a reliable piece. He just hasn't been available, Monica. Yeah, and I'm glad that word keeps coming up, right? Like, I still believe that Anthony Davis wants it, but the best ability is availability. And we know in his career, that's not something that can be taken for granted. Um, I do like that question, though, Han. It's very pointed. I, to me, he's got to give this Lakers squad an identity, whether that is through LeBron James, through Anthony Davis, through Russell Westbrook. I think even if a team is struggling, but you know what their identity is, that's one thing. Last year, we just saw this group flopping around, and we didn't know what was what outside mm -hmm. of LeBron James having 40-point outbursts and willing his team to wins down late, late in the season. We are sending a lot of guys to the gym today. Did you guys notice that on <laughs> this show? We got, we, got, we got Kyle Lowry going to the gym. Yep. We got Bam going to the gym. Absolutely. And now we got AD going to the gym. By the end of the show, everybody will have wine baths like Mar Amari used to do in his career. <laughs> I mean, that's, where, that's where we go. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.